seen some of his work before in shows like the Allentown Art Festival and more recently in some retail stores like the Bonton. Tonight, our man Mike Randall catches up with a man from Williamsville who transforms clay into pottery and students of all ages into artists. It is possible to transform this into this with a little time, talent, and maybe some lessons from this guy. I've been throwing pottery since 1982, and I've been teaching since 1987. Thomas Hooper got hooked on pottery back in college and has been busy at it ever since, opening his art yard studio on Main Street in Williamsville in 1999. These will be for um, Allentown and Bontania. Yeah. Thomas turns out pieces for all the art festivals. This one is a little off centers. His buffalo mugs and plates are always a hit as buffalo magnets have traveled all over the world. I usually ask people where is it going, you know, because they're saying they're buying it for a friend and that one went to Iceland. It's his glazes that make each piece unique. That we make our glazes and airbrush them, the rutile in the glaze pulled out and it makes that nice uh, blushing on the surface. And if all that doesn't keep him busy enough, he opens his shop to eager students. We did a uh, mother-daughter date night, so they came in and had a few glasses of wine and made some nice little pots. Thomas makes it look very easy, knocking out masterpieces in minutes. That's done. Wait, <laughs> how long did that take you? A few minutes. Once he shares some tips on hand positioning and pressure, Thomas says most anyone can create pottery. It just takes practice and a little bit of hand strength. You can sign up for date nights, advanced classes, or if you're really serious, six-week workshops. And they're going to have summer camp for kids here in July and August. It's got to be like ultimate mud pies for kids. You can find out more information at artyardstudio.com. Not everyone has what it takes to become a master potter like Thomas Hooper. It can be frustrating for people when they first start. But if you don't mind getting a little dirty, it does become more relaxing. And who doesn't need a little more of that? In Williamsville, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.